Hello everyone and welcome back to 5 Tips in 5 Minutes. This week, measuring diversity and inclusion. If your company has stated its commitment to being more diverse and inclusive, you need to be transparent about progress. You need to show the receipts and to do that, you need to measure. Diversity is much easier to measure than inclusion. There's a saying that diversity is a fact and inclusion is a feeling and facts are much easier to measure. It does make it easier to measure diversity if you've got comprehensive diversity data and I've covered how to go about collecting this in a previous video. Inclusion is still perfectly possible to measure and we'll come on to how to do that. I'd suggest picking a maximum of three key measures that focus specifically on your company's inclusion strategy. And here's five potential measures that you could use. Measure one is representation. This means analyzing diversity data at every level of the organization and also different communities of the organization. For example, um, administrative staff versus engineering staff, sales staff, and your talent pipeline. Identifying where the different levels and communities have underrepresentation makes it easier to see where you can best focus your attention and resources. A second potential measure is diversity turnover. So specifically, how many of the people who leave your company, what proportion of them are diverse employees with under two years tenure? Is it a proportionate or a disproportionate percentage of your overall leavers? And are you carrying out exit interviews to understand what's making them leave? Another key measure to consider is inclusion. And what you're measuring here is feelings, how people feel about working for your company. So what you want to measure is whether people feel seen and heard and valued, whether they can thrive in your company, no matter what job they do or why they're there to do that job. Feelings change, of course, and an inclusion index just measures a snapshot of how people feel on that day. So an inclusion index is something that you want to do quite regularly, maybe quarterly, but just two or three questions to pulse every quarter, and then you can track the progress over time. The fourth potential measure is internal talent mobility. You may have a wonderfully diverse talent pipeline of people who are capable and have the potential of doing a bigger job. But when those bigger jobs come up, who is getting the promotions? Is it reflective of the diversity of your talent pipeline? Remember, if you're trying to diversify your senior team and your talent pipeline looks like your senior team, you're not going to see change anytime soon. So try tracking the diversity of promotions against the diversity of your talent pipeline. It can be very enlightening. And a fifth potential measure is employee network membership. Thriving employee networks are a good indicator that the people in your company know that those networks have a voice and make a difference. And that in turn increases feelings of inclusion. And it's interesting to compare the inclusion index for the people who are members of employee networks to those who aren't. To recap your five potential DNI measures, representation, both seniority and community. What proportion of your turnover is diverse employees with under two years of tenure? Inclusion, do your employees feel seen, heard and valued? Who is getting the promotions from your talent pipeline and employee network membership? There are literally dozens of potential diversity and inclusion measures. And if you'd like to explore any more of them, please feel free to get in touch. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.